So, we finally completed quarantine in New Zealand and packed our bags for McMurdo. To get there, we were going to need to get into an LC-130 Hercules aircraft, crewed by the capable men and women of the New York Air National Guard. It's not an aircraft known for comfort or speed, but I didn't care. It was my ride to the ice and it was the best sight I'd seen in weeks. Any flight to Antarctica runs the risk of getting boomeranged, that is, turned back to its origin because of weather changes on the ground. It's a very common occurrence, so no one gets their hopes up too much during the first half of the flight. When we passed the halfway mark at four hours, you could see a wave of celebration among the passengers. After landing on skis on a snowy runway outside McMurdo, we all climbed aboard Ivan the Terra Bus, a relic of transportation that has been around McMurdo for decades and is kind of a rite of passage for new arrivals. Looking out the window, we spotted Mount Terror and Mount Erebus, which is the southernmost active volcano in the world. Finally, we arrived at the home base of all U.S. operations in Antarctica, McMurdo Station. Alright, so we just got here to McMurdo, got our orientation training, but check out this view out here. and got settled into my dorm and took a little hike out here to Hut Point. Way back there is the main McMurdo station, the whole complex, all the dorms, science, medical, everything like that. But just an amazing, amazing weather day here in Antarctica. It's mild at about 30 degrees, hardly any wind, super clear, and just so, so pretty. Take a look at this. shuttle ride to McMurdo station from the runway we're um, just seeing dirt here in Antarctica and I know it's a continent and I know there's dirt here but you know and usually when you think of Antarctica is always white snow ice you know you like you, you never think of like land but seeing the actual land the dirt just drives home that it's a continent and it's huge it's like bigger than the size of the US and um, it's real it's not just ice floating here it's a it's a big huge piece of dirt and the other thing I noticed is that there's all these features, mountains, volcanoes that just are all over the place. There's Mount Erebus, Mount Discovery, huge mountain ranges all the, like all across the horizon, um, which I didn't realize you could see basically all from McMurdo. The last thing you might notice is that if you look out, it might look like it's about six or seven in the evening, but I think it's actually about 11 p.m. And right now, this is about as low as the sun is getting. So it never gets darker than this for, you know, at this time of year. So you got to block out your windows to get some sleep. Yeah. So daylight all the time. I didn't have a lot of free time in McMurdo because I was spending most of my days getting the training I would need to help run the clinic at the South Pole. However, I did make time to film around the station. So my next video will be a short tour of the main building as well as the medical clinic and Robert Scott's historic hut from 1911. If you're enjoying the channel, hit subscribe and get notified about all my future videos. 
Until then, I'm Joe for Joe Spins the Globe, and I'll see you around the world.